More breaking news that we're bringing to you here. The JDU has hit out at Narendra Modi for his proposal over appointment of Loka Yukta. Ali Anwar, in fact, of the JDU coming out and saying that Modi's proposed bill on appointment of Loka Yukta makes a mockery of the fight against corruption. He's a dictator, they say. The Modi government has, remember, introduced the proposal of bypassing the role of governor in appointment of Loka Yukta. Gujarat state government has proposed to form a three-member panel to appoint a new Loka Yukta as well. The other aspect here, of course, playing out is that uh, this is the JDU, a key NDA ally who is making these comments, not just the opposition. Listen in to the actions from the JDU, the criticism. और भ्रष्टाचार इससे दूर नहीं होगा और अगर मुख्यमंत्री के मन का आदमी और उसमें एक मंत्री को भी रखे हैं उसमें अपने भी हैं एक माने उसमें बहुमत है उच्च की जो कमिटी है उसमें मुख्यमंत्री का बहुमत है एक जज को मान भी लें कि इनका मत तो बहुमत से फैसला कर लेंगे तो बिल्कुल इनका इनके हाँ में हाँ मिलाने वाला आदमी और इनके इनकी बात पर मुहर लगाने वाला आदमी जो का युक्त होगा तो इससे भ्रष्टाचार के खिलाफ तो कोई कार्रवाई नहीं हो सकेगी हेडलाइंस तो इस रोहित सिंह हैज बीन ट्रैकिंग डेवलपमेंट्स और जॉइंस अस फॉर लाइव इनपुट रोहित यू नो बिसाइड्स द मेरिट्स एंड द क्रिटिसिज्म ऑफ द मोडिफाइड you know loka yukta bill in gujarat the fact that the jdu has come out and strongly criticized the government's moves well goes on to show uh, just how these re this relationship is deteriorating i think that uh, we've lost our link uh, with rohit will connect with him in just a moment uh, but scathing criticism coming across from the jdu at this stage as far as narendra modi his government's proposals of changes in the loka yukta uh, bill in fact are concerned changes where which suggest uh, forming a three member panel as well to appoint a new loka yukta this is in fact a decision which will go uh, a long way this strong criticism of narendra modi himself he's being targeted being uh, called a dictator in the way uh, the fight against corruption is being handled here uh, now this is again you know a, a move which has mif not just the opposition the jdu as well a key nda ally sending across a missive calling narendra modi no less than a dictator Uh, in the way he is handling this current situation trying to influence well, the selection of the loka yukta the uh, the up loka yukta as well in gujarat the jdu certainly means in no words taking on uh, the bjp chief minister in the state of gujarat Well, let's try and reconnect with Rohit Singh, who joins us now with an input on the story. Rohit, well, the JDU taking on Narendra Modi once again, calling him a dictator for well introducing these changes in the selection of Loka Yuktas in Gujarat. Well, I think the JDU is leaving no stone unturned and never misses an opportunity to target the Gujarat Chief Minister Narendra Modi whenever they get one. And yesterday, the way the new Loka Yuk bill was given and passed in the Gujarat. Vidhan Sabha JDU is now hitting out at Narendra Modi, and he says that he has made a Lokayu uh, bill which is very toothless, and it will not be able to fight corruption properly. And mind you, this is happening at a time when Nitish Kumar also is fighting against corruption. And last year, a Lokayu bill was passed uh, in Bihar also, and it was a stronger Lokayu uh, bill to fight corruption. And that is why now JDU is targeting right. Narendra Modi.